All right, in this video, we're going to set up a display network campaign. Within our all campaigns, we go to new campaign. And first thing we do is the settings. So we'll give it a name. We'll call it cafe display. And we'll just use the United States. Basically, you only want to use one country or region. There's no reason to combine. Um, you know, US and Canada are different places with different sensibilities, um, different values. Then, and you want to make sure that your message is targeted as closely as possible to the group you'll be speaking to. So we're going to stick with English. And now here's where we make it a display campaign only. So let me choose and we're going to uncheck Google search and we're going to keep the check for display and you have two options here. One is broad reach and the other is specific reach. And we're going to start with broad reach because we're going to combine keywords and placements later. Right now we just want to see what Google comes up with. You know, keywords is kind of a finite universe. You can use the keyword tool, you can use common sense, but pretty much you can think of all the keywords that people might be using to search. But there's no way to know all of the sites in the display network that might be good places for your ads. So we're not even going to try. We're just going to let Google do it. It's like throwing, you know, handfuls of mud from far away against a wall. And we're just going to see what sticks rather than walking up close to the entire wall and looking for individual cracks where we could stick a little bit of mud. Okay, devices. We do not want to do mobile devices in the display network. You probably don't want to do tablets either. If you do, that should be a separate campaign. Um, I have an article that I wrote in Search Engine Watch, which you can find if you search for my name, about the different habits of tablet users versus computer users. And that's it's good to think about uh, those differences when you're setting up campaigns because you're not going to be able to optimize for both. Okay, so now the default bid. Um, remember, if you're already in search, your default display bid should be half as much. So let's say we were bidding a dollar in search. Now we're going to bid 50 cents for display and our budget will be $100 a day. Delivery method. Um, We'll start with standard because we're trying to find out what's working here. Accelerated, we could blow our budget. If we had 200 clicks in the morning, we would blow our budget in the morning and we would not find out anything about people who search at noon, in the afternoon, in the evening, late at night. So this is going to throttle our ads back but give us a more representative sample so that when we go to the dimensions tab later, we can see for each of the time periods how our ads were doing. We're going to skip the ad extensions for now. Uh, ad delivery is always important. If you're tracking conversions, you should optimize for conversions. If you're not, you should rotate so that at least you'll learn something. And if you optimize for clicks, you're just paying Google more. So let's assume you're tracking conversions as we have told you to do. Um, frequency capping, we're not going to do it right now, but what that is, um, is if someone um, how many times can the same person see your ad per day or per ad group, per week, per month? Uh, we're not going to use demographic bidding right now. That's a more advanced display network. Um, we're not going to use any of this other stuff, and we're just going to save and continue. So that's campaign structure. In the next video, we'll talk about ad groups and keywords.